The BCA Hub video series brings together the latest video tech tips on wheel hubs, bearings, and seals, featuring the experts you trust. Brought to you by BCA Bearings by NTN. Learn more at bcabearings.com. You know, I keep on wondering why there is no one single axle nut torque specification. I mean, with lug nuts, I can probably think about maybe three or four different specifications. But with them, it, it's just, it, it's so different anywhere between like 110 to close to 300 foot pounds on some bearings. Mm -hmm. And generally, the higher the torque ratings you're gonna see, those are generally attributed to the tapered bearing assemblies inside of a hub assembly, because those take a little bit more to seat and, and situate uh, in the proper alignment. Um, ball bearings are generally gonna be a lower uh, torque rating. Did a job recently, and the torque specification on this, I think it was 225 foot pounds. Yeah. Why is it so high compared to maybe a, a hub unit like this that may be 110? Well, because in these, these are the Gen 1 bearings where you're going to have to have this, uh, a wheel flange pressed in this and pressed into a knuckle. So getting them all sandwiched, if you will, and oriented properly is critical. And, and some of that is done through the uh, torquing of the axle nut. But where this, some of these other hub units, it's set at the factory, but mm -hmm. it's just as important because you're holding in the axle and that has potential. If you don't do it right, it has noise. Correct, yeah, and, and the splines are what you're gonna be engaging. So if, if the axle that you're putting, if the hub assembly that you're putting in has got the rolled closure or orbitally formed closure, the preload is set at the factory. But you're still gonna have an axle nut or stub shaft or something sticking out with an axle nut. So the torquing of that's important for the spline engagement uh, to reduce any kind of noise or looseness. But in terms of performance of the vehicle, the weight of the vehicle, that will also determine the axle nut torque. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whether it's a high torque situation or a high load situation. So with all those different considerations out there, it's critical that you look it up. Mm -hmm. You can't guess, you can't use how many ugga duggas <laughs> with your torque wrench. 30 or, years of experience, yeah. That's yeah, that. your calibrated elbow. Mm -hmm. So, why should they use a booklet like this to look up the specification? In a lot of cases, just to reduce comebacks and warranties. Okay. Um, it's going to also, like I said, reduce some sort of noise. Um, and in these cases, it might cause some misalignment with rotors and backing plates and, and knuckle assemblies. So uh, it's just best to properly torque that axle nut. So in here, I was looking, it covers everything from pretty much Acura to, gosh, I'm looking in the back here, Suzuki, Toyota, but in the back, there's also notes mm -hmm. for a lot of different. Picking up on those, it seems like there's a lot of variations depending on mm -hmm. the make, model, and if it's all-wheel drive or... It is. Some have specific uh, situations where you need to, to drop it on the ground and set it there or, or drive it for a while. It's a little bit like wheel lug nuts. For some, you have to do three stages of torquing up lug nuts, depending on the type of uh, nut that you're using. So. So what can happen if I don't look up the torque spec and I, I just guess? Well, you could have too loose of a situation, which is going to cause premature failure. Uh, and you could have too high of a torque, which is going to cause excessive heat and pressure and premature failure. So there's a Goldilocks zone where you really need to be in order to get the best performance and life out of the wheel hub assembly. Kind of curious, mileage wise, how soon if you over tighten a bearing or leave it too loose, could it happen? It depends. I mean, uh, is it on a truck? Is it on a, on a, on a Honda Civic? Okay. Is it is it going to be seeing a lot of turns, highway miles? It, 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 there is no fast or hard rule to determine that. But uh, and you may not at all, uh, you know. But it it's always best practice to, to do it properly. Hey, you can't take chances with this yep. one because you're risking the entire job and a comeback. Yeah, and in the Gen One bearing assemblies, high labor intensive return. So you, it's not as simple as. Uh, four bolts and an axle nut to replace it. This is this is an expensive comeback. It's almost like pulling a tooth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, thank you, Matt. No Great information there. Yep, thank you.